both my friends. Today, I thought I would share with you my recent homeschool science tools haul. Now, back in the summer, I ordered a few more things from them. I forgot to tape that one. And then I needed to place one more order for Matthew's biology, and then I added a couple fun chemistry things on for Ben. So, I'm going to show you what's inside. I will leave a link for home science tools. My link, if you use it, I think it's $10 credit that we each get. So that will be on there. And then they have other ways to earn rewards. Sharing your link, sharing your link on Facebook. When you purchase items, you get a percentage back. Following them on Instagram, all of those kind of things. So that's a great way to earn some additional money to spend towards science. Now, something that I like about real science, no, home science tools is that they will create kits to go along with lots of the science curriculum. Kits, because I think they have theirs reasonably priced, especially when you're paying for the convenience of having it all included for you. So if you, if you are buying science curriculum and the publisher doesn't provide a kit, check them out. So this one is for Matthew's biology, which is Real Science Odyssey Biology Level 2. Before I go any further, I'd love to know what you guys are using for science this year, what curriculum, topics, whatever. Let me know down there. And then we've got a chocolate kit and a candy chemistry. Now I'm going to leave chapters down there. So if you are interested in one of the kits, it's easy to skip ahead for you. So the first one I got for Ben, he is doing Guest Hollow's Chemistry in the Kitchen this year. And while there are lots of activities and lots of reading and everything to keep him busy, I saw these and thought that we would just do them and see for fun. Now this one is a Make Your Own Chocolate Kit, ages eight and up by Glee Gum. No, from the makers of Glee Gum. I'm not sure who the company is. Um. And it's, this is really basic. It's really just like your ingredients. It has the instruction, little instruction kit, and then the different ingredients you need. And then they include little cups for you. So it's basically just in combining them all and putting them in little cups and making your own chocolates. But I thought it might be fun. We could do it with um, adding like oats to it. Ben just made marshmallows and I was thinking that maybe we could cover, like cut them into little pieces, cover it in some chocolate. We'll just have a little fun with it. Right. Need to make sure and put that away because we have animals. Okay, the next one is a candy chemistry kit. And this is one of the Thames and Cosmos, Thames and Cosmos, I'm not sure, Cosmos. I would say it, but their kids are really good kids generally. Um, most of them I think are from like 10 and up and they have all kinds of different kids. We've had a couple that I was like, mm, I don't, I wouldn't buy it again, but, but they're all kids that, you know, they're fine. So this one says that you can make your own gummies, rock candy, chocolates, and more. It has a candy thermometer. Well, let's open it and see what's inside. Okay, it's got a couple molds. One's like an Easter egg. And then, oh, these are for gummies, like little fruit, fruit slices. Um, Dinosaurs, and this is what must be for chocolates. There's like little race cars and such cute little molds. And it includes a candy thermometer, which is really nice because we need it actually for his other chemistry. We could have used that yesterday when we were doing marshmallows. Now, while I don't always think their materials are always the best quality, their guides tend to be really, really good. They have good illustrations and good directions. But what I also like is that they include the science of what's going on with whatever kit you have. And I think that makes it really approachable 
for whatever you're doing and whatever level of expertise you have on the subject because you've got a thing written in an easy to what easy to understand way that's all ready for you if you'd like to see more videos like when we use this or reviews when we're done let me know for this and the chocolate kit okay now the biology kit this is what i was really intending this video to be for okay now the kit the biology kit which is what i was really intending for this video to be about um <clears throat> i and i've told you guys this before one of the places i have struggled with science in the past is gathering up all of the supplies making sure that i actually have everything and finding small amounts of some of these things so that you don't end up with shelves of unused science supplies. So a couple of years ago, I made the decision that whenever possible, I was going to buy the kit. Is it always possible? No, and I really wish that I had it for Guest Hollow, in fact, <laughs> or for their chemistry in the kitchen one. Um, not the food ingredients, but the other ones. Um, but we did it for astronomy last year for Real Science Odyssey. Now we didn't end up doing all of those labs, but we had the supplies. And then I did it for this year. It's expensive. Um, <clears throat> you pay for the convenience, but it's such a relief to have it all done. And for Matthew this year, he's doing the class online. So we actually have to make sure all the labs get done because his grade depends on it. One note about home science tools is that some of their kits do not have all of the supplies. In the chat help, you can ask them to send you a list of what's included and what's not included, because some of those items you can still purchase at the same time. They're just not in the kit. I don't know why. So if you are going to buy a curriculum kit from them, make sure that you get that list See what's not included so that you don't have any surprises when you're going to do an experiment and realize that you don't have what you need. So the first thing I'm not going to show you is the preserved frog. <laughs> um, Matthew will have a dissection. They send it to you, but I'm going to save you and not have you watch it or look at it. For example, they even include like just one package of yeast. So if you're a family who doesn't bake at home, even yeast will come like three or four to a strip. So you can get just, just the amount you need. Latex gloves. Just one big balloon. This is a really big balloon. <laughs> I'm not sure what we're going to use that for. A slide kit. I was really happy to see this in here because Matthew's lab this week, he needs a kit and I or slides and I forgot that we didn't have any. They're sitting on my Amazon cart. And then ta-da! <laughs> Look at me winning. Um so a lab kit. He's got the seeds that he needs for different experiments. The cork that he needs to go with the lab experiment for this week actually. Even like a measuring tape. So some of these things, yes, we have several of these, but it's really nice that I don't have to go looking for it. I do kind of wish that you could almost like build your own kit. So we are a family who bakes a lot. I don't need yeast, but it's great to have, it's nice to have it. Do I need another one of these? No, but being able to set it aside, no, we've got it. But again, if I could build my own kit or have items subtracted, that'd be really, that'd be really handy. Magnifying glass. This is weights. Nope. Oh, this is the dissection kit. <laughs> my husband's going to do that one because I I did my dissection time in high school and I'm not doing it anymore. I didn't even think about um, goggles. And I'm really glad he has those because the ones we have are still from when they were little kids and are much too small for them. Now, so, oh, and then some prepared slides, it looks like. There's even a dissection tray, colored pencils. 
A variety of nails. Again, I don't know what this one is for. I haven't looked ahead to all the experiments. Do most of us have a can with some coffee can? <laughs> with some nails in it? Probably. But is it also really nice that we have it packaged in here? Yes. I am really glad that we are in a position where we can spin the splurge. <coughs> I'm sorry, there we're awaiting a tropical storm medallia. So I'm in my co cozy clothes. It's not cold outside, but it feels cozy because it's hurricane season. Um, and it's kicking up something in the air, the wind outside. <clears throat> and I'm having a hard time. Um, if you're in the path, I hope you are staying safe. One pipe cleaner. <laughs> if you've ever purchased pipe cleaners, you know that they usually come in a pack of like 100. And then what do you do with them afterwards? Well, if you have young kids, then maybe you're going to use them. But my kids are, I don't even know, 13 and 15. We don't go through a whole lot of pipe cleaners anymore. So again, being able to buy just one, super convenient. So that's our haul. Thanks for watching.